Hello, Drew here with Action Millionaire. Thanks for joining me again. Uh, today I want to talk about how we tend to doubt ourselves and have self-doubt. Um, the definition of doubt is a feeling of uncertainty or lack of conviction. So that means when I'm when I'm feeling like what I'm doing is not important, what I'm doing is is just going out of control, and it's it's uh, and I'm uncertain about it, and I'm I don't have a focus, I don't have a goal, I don't have a vision, and I'm I don't have anything to move towards, and I'm not convicted, and I'm not convinced that it's the thing I'm supposed to be doing, then that doubt creeps up, that doubt creeps up because my confidence level goes down. And when my confidence level goes down, that doubt creeps up and then fears start to creep in. Fears start to control my life and run my life. And it's it's these little fears like, I'm afraid that people are gonna judge me. I'm afraid that I'm gonna look stupid. I'm, gonna, I'm afraid that I'm gonna say something wrong. I'm afraid I'm gonna make a mistake. I'm, I'm afraid that I'm not ever gonna amount to anything. And even if I do do this, that it's not going to matter. But I'm here to tell you today that all those fears are lies. All those fears are centered in our mind. Our fear is centered in our mind. Because everywhere uh, fears are, that's where our thoughts are. Our thoughts is where it starts. In our mind is where the fear is centered. And when we start fearing and when we start thinking those things, when we start having those thoughts, we start to self-destruct. We start to self-defeat ourselves and any progress that we have made, we will start to um, belittle that progress and start to bring ourselves down and start walking backwards. If, if we're going backwards, we're not going forwards. We have to continue to go forward in a way that I've found that I can eliminate that self-doubt. I can put a stop to that self-doubt is some simple activities. One, I like to exercise. Exercising makes me feel good about myself. Exercising makes me feel confident. It makes me feel stronger. It makes me feel like I'm gaining something. Um, and it also, when I exercise, I can clear my mind. I don't have to think about anything else. I can just focus on the task at hand, do that task, and then move on with my, my life. Um, another thing that I can do and that I do do is I share those thoughts. I share those fears with other people because when I share those fears, that fear loses the power. When I share those fears, even if I think it's stupid, even if I think that it's unproductive, I still share those fears. I still share those negative thoughts because if I'm sharing those negative thoughts, it's not taking up space in my mind because if it's taking up space in my mind, then it's taking up space that I could be using for productive things I could be using for for producing content or producing stuff that I know I'm supposed to be doing I know I'm supposed to be moving forward in my life and another thing that I do is I surround myself with people with uh, that are like-minded to me people that that I I share thoughts in common with I share goals in common with and in, in that way, I when I share with them, when I talk with them, I don't lose that vision. I don't lose my goal. And I'm able to work my way through a lot of those things. And, and it turns out a lot of those things is a, what all of us deal with if we are like-minded with each other. So I, I share all those things. I share my vision. I share where I'm going. I share where I want to be. And I share where I'm stumbling because... I share everything in order to get the most out of, out of that group, get the most out of that community that I've built with like-minded people and people that share the same goals. And that way I can move forward in life and I can move closer to my goals and my vision. But I just wanted to share that today and uh, thanks for joining me. See you on the next one.